It's cold outside. Let's find out what happens to your subwoofer when it's cold outside. We've got a massive cold front rolling in and it's just right for running an experiment. Right over here behind me, I've got the laptop and the DATs all set up so that I can do a DAT sweep and see what happens to the TS parameters when it's brutal, brutal cold. The temperature inside the garage is 34.9 degrees Fahrenheit. That sweep will give you most of the TS parameters. In this case, we wanna pay really close attention to the free air resonance of the driver and the VAS. Both of these are a mathematical function of the CMS, which is the compliance of the suspension. The units on CMS are millimeters per Newton. In other words, if you apply one Newton of force, how many millimeters will the cone travel? We get an FS of 54. To get the VAS, we need to add a weight with a known mass to the cone, input the cone diameter, Amateur and do another sweep. And we get 0.2071 cubic feet. The device I'm using for these tests is called a DATS and the subwoofer is a Savard Wrap 8. If you want to check out the sub, I'll give you a link down in the video description along with a discount code that'll save you a little bit of money if you want to pick one of these up. Okay, that's done. Really doesn't take very long to do that. Now what I'm going to do is take all this inside, wait for it to warm up a little bit and take a measurement at the 65 or 70 degrees that I'm gonna be keeping the house at tonight. And then in a few days when the temperature drops down to near zero degrees Fahrenheit, we're gonna do it again and see what happens when we have a deep freeze. Again, just so we're clear, 34 degrees, so just a hair above freezing out here in the garage. So why am I doing this video? Because every winter this question pops up online on the various forums and on Facebook. People ask if it's safe to play subwoofers when it's cold outside. And oftentimes people will comment that the subwoofers sound different when it's cold outside. The goal is to figure out what's going on and show you how these things work and how the temperature impacts the subwoofer. And this is all tangentially related to the concept of break-in. Your subwoofer suspension, the spider and the surround will get softer over time and the TS parameters will change. If those parts get stiff in cold weather, we will notice a difference in the TS parameters. So now I'm all set up in the house and the temperature inside is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. As soon as you run a sweep, you can see the difference. The free air resonance has dropped by two hertz. Let's add mass and check the vast. It's gone up to 0.25, so a fourth of a cubic foot. There's this myth floating around on the internet that the VAS is the maximum size of your enclosure. That is incorrect. This is a measure of the subwoofer's compliance. A bigger number implies a softer suspension. And here in this case, as the subwoofer warmed up, the suspension part softened up and the VAS increased. Now I've got to unhook everything. I'm going to put the subwoofer out in the garage overnight and it's going to get bitter cold tonight. So we're going to see what happens in the morning. All right, it is brutal cold. I checked the uh, thermometer outside and it was negative three degrees. Part of the world I live in doesn't get to negative three very often. Inside the garage, we are at nine degrees Fahrenheit. I'm happy that the garage is 10 degrees warmer than it is outside, so at least it has some shelter in here. Got everything set up over here on the bench. Gonna to uh, run that dat sweep real quick and then get back in the house where it's warm. Brr, it's cold. While I'm getting all that set up, I want to say thank you to all of my patrons with a bonus shout out to $25 and up patrons, Jonathan, Joaquin, JD America, Timothy, and Bo. If you want to support content like this, I'll give you a link down in the video description where you can go sign up for Patreon. Right now, I'm running a special sign up for a whole year at once. I'll give you 10% off your membership. The FS is now 64 hertz. It went up by almost 12. Now let's add some weight to get the VAS. Okay, I got an error message. I've seen this before. What's happened is that the cone is so stiff because of this cold weather that the 575 gram weight was not enough to move the cone in order to get a comparative reading. So I'm gonna add a second weight, see if that does the job. If that doesn't do the job, then it's cold, I'm going inside. Now, if this does happen to you, you've got to restart entirely, okay?
Once again, we get an error message. As the temperature dropped, the suspension got so stiff that we can't get a valid measurement. I tried it again with more weight and ended up with the same results. Okay, what does all that mean for you and your subwoofer? For starters, absolutely yes, your subwoofer will be stiffer in cold weather. But how much does that actually matter? First, it depends on how cold it gets. Going from 68 degrees down to 34, 35 degrees made very little difference, so there's no need to worry about it, except in cases of extreme cold weather. Second, the suspension will get looser as you play it and it will generate heat and that warmth will help soften up the suspension. That higher resonant frequency when cold is going to impact your sound quality. You'll have a harder time hitting low notes until things start to heat up and soften up a bit. Third, it's very unlikely that you're going to damage anything. These parts are designed to move. But if you're out there in the extreme cold and worried about it, Play some music for a little while at moderate volume to get things softened up and moving before you go full tilt. To learn more about this device I was using for the test, click right up here. To learn more about breaking in a subwoofer, click right up here. I'm Justin, this is the DIY Audio Guy YouTube channel, and I will see you on the next adventure.